Hi guys, so recently my buddy sucked me into, into playing paintball and uh, of course I spent a whole bunch of money buying different uh, paintball guns and uh, one of my biggest pet peeves with paintball guns is that the hopper, uh, the loading system uh, sits on top of the gun like so so when you aim down the gun it's a little bit a little bit hard because the hopper obstructs your, uh, your view so I decided to convert uh, one of my guns to uh, magazine fed marker so it's loaded from below and I can mount uh, the view on top of the gun is, is not obstructed and I can uh, put scopes and just uh, you know overall improve the look of the marker so this is my uh, Tipman A5 or rather what's left of it this is the original Tipman A5 uh, with the flatline barrel on it and the skeleton buttstock and uh, this is my improved A5 um, so here's the following the following mods are added to it or have been done to it rather the first mod is the body has been removed and uh, replaced with Takamo MK5 or MKV or Mark 5 whatever you want to call it uh, body kit um, let me see if I can uh, focus in on that okay so uh, you can see there's a removable magazine uh, this magazine can be bought from rep4.com or uh, milsig.ca uh, they are two different companies but the magazines are pretty much interchangeable and the other mod I did is uh, install internal air kit so you can see there's no tubing all the tubing is concealed inside the gun the tank goes in the butt of the gun and it's concealed by the buttstock um, the gun is uh, uh, supports uh, semi auto and full auto fire it's not guessed up right now so there's uh, full auto semi and safety um, the original air uh, um, air port was uh, plugged up with an insert that comes with the kit um, so the gun is fully functional another mod is the insert here has been replaced from a five threaded insert the original factory one to um lapco uh cocker threaded insert so it allows me to use uh, cocker threaded barrels for my speedball guns and uh, this is an eight inch 690 uh, caliber um lapco barrel it's apex ready those two o-rings can be removed and you can use a standard apex two tip if you don't have apex two you can use the original short apex one tip to allow you to shoot, um, uh, to increase your shot range. The tank is uh, 13 cubic inch uh, Gorilla Air. The buttstock has been bought separately from Rep4 um, uh, from the tank. The tank I bought it online from, I don't remember where. Actually, I bought that on the field. This tank's are about 50, 60 bucks. Uh, it's uh, 13 cubic inches, you get about 100 shots out of it. Um, if you want, you can buy a kit where you get the tank, the the guide, and the buttstock for about I think it's 150 bucks from uh, Rep4. This is a 22 22 cubic inch tank. Um, you get about 150 shots, but as you can see, the regulator on it is enormous. So uh, I'll be changing this reg with uh, Gorilla Air Mag, uh, Gorilla Air Reg. Sorry, so you can see the regulator is only about three quarter inch, three quarter of an inch long. So if you screw that into the gun it's going to be probably four inches longer um, you know um, this is obviously a limited ammo gun uh, it's not for spam like speedball so um, you get about four magazines uh, worth of shots out of it and uh, I love it that there's no there's no feeding system on top so I can mount scopes and uh, red dots and uh, whatever sights that you want uh, it works great uh, doesn't uh, doesn't really uh, jam or chop balls the only issue I find was it, it sometimes it double feeds if the the paint caliber is too small um, if it's below 6.688 it, it'll sometimes double feed and and then break the paint obviously in, in the barrel uh, but that's not the, the gun issue it's more of a paint issue other than this it's an awesome marker um, I use it very seldom like I said it's a limited ammo marker so, and uh, the parts that uh, were left over from this marker, I was able to build a whole nother A5. Um, so this, this marker has 
also some mods, uh, namely the response trigger. Basically, to, there's a cylinder in the grip that kicks the trigger back. So when you when you press it, uh, this metal pin would fire forward and push your finger out of the way, so you can press it again ref reflexively, and uh, it it kind of shoots in uh, full automatic mode that way. It's kind of it's it's hard to get used to, but basically you squeeze the trigger until it starts firing, and then kind of relax, and it, and it starts shooting shooting full auto. So uh, I moved the original uh, cyclone feed and I installed the flatline barrel. The barrel actually goes from here to here like this on an arc. So when the balls hit the barrel, they fly out and they have a backspin which allows them to travel further down. Uh, and they don't describe a standard arc during flight. They actually have more of a flat trajectory. That's why the barrel is called flatline. And uh, this is just a semi-automatic marker. There's a velocity adjustment in the buttstock and this is uh, full metal aluminum uh, skeleton buttstock. So uh, those are my uh, beginner guns and uh, I'll show you my new guns in the next video.